Hi everyone! <laughs> welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is like my fourth video. So, so, so exciting. So we'll start with my book cart. She's on wheels so we get to move her around. I am not going to take them. No, maybe I will take them out. I'm such like a liar. I recently read By a Thread by... Lucy score and I'm gonna try to do this neatly because every time I take books out I don't put them back I think Finley wants to hang out with us as well Do you want to tell them what books we've read? He's just Hi Anyway, I have not read Oh You want to stay? You want to chat with us? Okay, so we have not read Forever and Ever Oh, you would do so weird <laughs> They're all thickums, so that will happen one day. But haven't read forever, never. Heard a lot of good things about this one, so like I'm really excited to read it. I'm always like shaking my books. Things We Never Got Over, I have read. I love this book like really so, so much, so I'm so excited for Things We Hide From The Light, and a lot of hair got in my eye. And a lot of people have said that like, if you look at things we never got over, just wait for, for things we hide from the light. So like, I'm super, super, super excited about that one. And the cover is like beautiful for things we hide from the light. I'm not taking it out. <laughs> so then we have the Simple Wild series, read all of those. I loved them. It was just like a different vibe from all the series that I have read so far. Let me just make that clear because I have not read a lot of series is <laughs> like series plural. I did really enjoy this series a lot. The Twisted, oh my god, are these not in order? Or Twisted Games is supposed to go first. Stuff that I leave. Whatever, we'll just leave it for now, but I will fix it like towards the end. I don't, I don't have Twisted Love here because this is just my opinion, but I wasn't so much of a fan of Twisted Love, but I'm not someone who like just is like, oh my god, I didn't like that book, so I'm just gonna not read the rest of the series, like each book has different characters so i'm so for reading the next books in the series and i've heard such great things so i'm not someone that taps out and says no to the rest so i'm really actually really excited to read twisted games i was supposed to read twisted games this month but life just gets in the way and i can't read a certain amount of books that i want to some months i read like a million books just kidding some months i read six books or seven books whatever and others like i'll do one or two but life just gets in the way and everything is great i'm so happy that i do get to read two can you stop twitching he's like full twitching so that's the first row the second row we have the off campus series um then i have if you see me like rubbing it's like thinly he's just i don't even know if you guys can see him see hi <laughs> I love the off-campus series books so, so much. Um, by far one of like my favorite series, and I have not read a lot of series in general, so, but this will be probably, because it, it was so like amazing, like every single book was just so well done. So I'm excited to read like Briar You, but I wanna save them. Like I'm not in a rush to like finish all the hockey romance from Elle Kennedy, I'm trying to save her some. But yeah, then I read Under Sister series, loved them. Like, yeah. I just loved Summer Vibes. I read it like I think in June and I heard stuff about it but I didn't give it a chance yet. So I picked it up and I just, like it happened when Summer was like a five out of five star for me. I believe that Hook, Line, and Sinker was like a four and a half. Like it didn't grab me as much as it happened one summer but still both amazing. Then I have Ella Mays. And her pretty spines um i love to love jason thorne i love marriage for one i love to hate adam connor i haven't read the hardest fall yet but i'm really really excited to read it then we have brutal prince and i do have stolen air up there just have to fit it in this little slot also love the book as well i just love mafia romance and i said that in my previous videos then we have down here i have the mage series and it's very dark at least i don't know how dark dark mafia romance can get but these were pretty dark i just love them they were fun and scary and crazy but what else is mafia romance <laughs> like those i love them all um then i have not read 
Electric Idol and Neon Gods. I know there's other books in this series. I just picked them up because anytime I see that there is lack of books at Barnes and Nobles, I just like pick them up because I'm like, I'm never gonna see them again. <laughs> oh my God, I love this series. I think it's the Kane Brothers series. I loved Anato Me Cute so, so much. Anato Me Cute was so much fun. I like didn't expect to love it and I loved it. So I'm like really, really excited to read the next books in the series. Then down here we have the fine print terms and conditions, but I do have final offer up there. Really, really excited about reading those next two books in the series. Then we have ooh, The Love Hypothesis. Please take a seat. Enjoy. <laughs> he got mud all over his feet and his face today. I was like, so he's just a little stinky. We're going to bathe him after. Two pretty covers in the series. And I just truly enjoyed this one. I don't know what I, I don't remember what I gave it. It was like a, a, a year ago. So, oh my God, a year ago already? Time is flying. And I'm so excited to read this one. So we shall see. Okay, next up. The back is like not done, but I also believe I do unfortunately need a new cart because this cart is too small. So it doesn't fit books like this way like you see how it like bends i don't like that at the chase like oh i have a briar you but it's back here i've just i misplaced them but i do have books back here that i'm trying to figure out where they go i have say used to love me by katie tucker i really love the simple wild so i when i saw this book it at barnes and nobles i definitely picked it up but my mom honestly had winter garden so if anybody has read um, Winter Garden by Kristen Hanna. Let me know what you thought about it because I feel like books shouldn't go to waste in just the sense like I, if I have a book in my house like maybe I should read it or I'll obviously sell it if anything. Then we have Archer's Voice. Love this book so so much. It was like tied with things we never got over for my personal book of the year. I really loved both so so much. Then we have From Lukov with Love and this was my first Mariana Zapata. I hope I got her name right and I said it right. Um, but I really love slow burns like a lot, surprisingly. Sometimes they kind of like annoy me and I'm like, can you just hurry up? But I really did love this one. Um, it was my first ever slow burn as well. It was just a really great book to read and I do love her writing. Can you stop spazzing out for the fans? <laughs> your fans, Ben, your fans. <laughs> like, what are you, what's going on? Let's just give him some attention. Let's just give him some attention. Let me just go. Thank you. So many kisses. I guess I'll show you my shelves, but they're not done. And what that means is I need more books to fill them up. Here are my shelves. And I have another one on this side too. So let's get into this little pile here. So I have part of your world up close and personal um but i've heard good things about this one so i'm like really excited to read it then i have wait for you um i honestly just saw the cover and i was like this is a cute cover and then i just decided to read the back of it it intrigued me this summary so i picked it up and i bought it and there's also another book i believe um so i'm like really excited to read it we have better than the movies i've heard cute things about this one too i picked it up and also it was buy one get one so obviously it was like meant to be then we have stolen air and i'm really really excited to read like finley's always like in the back i'm really excited to read this one um i liked brutal prince a lot i love mafia romance a lot of people said they loved this book the most so i'm like really excited to read it we have final offer so excited to read this one she's a little hefty so like i'm really excited to read this one what do you think okay actually my mom started getting back into reading which i'm really happy so oh, oh how did he just do that in my arms <laughs> but we have two books we have um in the eden series she bought juniper hill because she read all of them already and garnet flats let me just like and so far i am currently reading indigo ridge and i really really enjoy it my book of the month is lessons in chemistry so i'm like super ooh, super excited to read this one um, book of the year for 2022. I actually recently bought this, All He'll Ever Be, but it's 
five books or four books in one book. So I'm excited to read it. If you have read, I believe this is the Merciless series, but correct me if I'm wrong, but if you have read this series, let me know because I'm, it seemed interesting to me. Mafia romance. That's me for you. Hmm. <laughs> big nose, big nose. So cute. I'm not going to take them out because I don't put them back. I do have one book from the Shatter Me series. I did read Every Summer After. Didn't read Beach Read. I've actually never read any Emily Henry book. People are like, how haven't you yet? I'm like, I don't know, but I do own them. <laughs> but I'm like, like this is giving like super summer. So like, I want to read this in the summer. <laughs> the same thing like with Un Honeymooners. Like, it's just giving such like summer cover vibes. Actually, I am putting them back. This is like interesting. <laughs> Um, then I have the Intimacy Experiment. I did pick this up like so long ago and I have not read it. I don't know why, but if you have read The Intimacy Experiment by Rosie Dannon, hopefully I pronounced that right too, um, let me know what you thought about it. I always love people's opinions. So now that we're getting to the second shelf. So I do have Pack Up the Moon. I heard it was sad. We're putting it off because I can't cry anymore. <laughs> we have Love in Other Words. I love this one. It was Childhood Friends to Lovers. Um, it was good. It was like such a cute book and I'm not usually a childhood friends to lovers kind of person But this one was like a really good one. So if you do want to read childhood friends to lovers, this is a good one to pick up Addicted after all but luckily that I'm taking these out I did want to put this on the bottom with the other addicted books anytime I see an addicted book because there's not a lot of them or like I'm just lucky enough to see one. I do pick it up. I did see this one and I was like, oh my God, this is the last one and I haven't seen it anywhere else. So I buy them when I'm like, where else am I gonna get them? Amazon. Um, <laughs> then in five years, I actually did start reading this book. Like, I don't know, like I'll just give it another shot, but I DNF'd it and I'm not a DNFer. And I did hear good things about it. So I do want to pick it back up. We have More Than Words by Mia Sheridan. I'm excited to read this one. So I love her writing too. So, And look how I love the colors. Anyway. <laughs> Girl in Pieces. I like hit myself in the head. I actually picked up a while ago too. Heard such good things about it. Um, it's just a matter of me picking it up when I feel like it. Because I'm such a mood reader. Love and Gelato. I heard it's a cute book. If you did like Love and Gelato. Put it in the comments because I do love hearing people's opinions. Um, I keep saying that, but it's the truth. Like, please let me know what you thought about it, if it's worth it. Obviously, I'm still gonna read it because it is a cute cover and it does sound really cute in the summary. So, I will obviously give it a shot. Um, help me remember, I actually was gifted this book from the author herself. So, thank you so much. And I'm super excited to read this. This was in my Amazon wish list, and she had bought it for me from my Amazon wish list. So, it was truly so sweet to open a package and see that it was from her. Ricochet, I always say that funny, Ricochet. And this is Friends to Lovers, like the series is Friends to Lovers, um, but it has like an epic love story, which I adore. So I'm really excited to read the series. I'm like super excited to read the second one because I've only read Addicted to You so far. So now we get to put them back, but I get to put them back <laughs> in order. Sorry. Now we're down on my third shelf, and it's my pink shelf. Um, I have Say You Swear, my favorite book of all, 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 all time. <laughs> um, the tabs. Loved this book seriously so much, it gave it a five, a f infinity <laughs> out of five stars. Tell Me Lies, which is a book I picked up, and I'm like really excited to read because I always love when a book has a movie because I'll read the book and then watch the show or the movie or whatever they have come out with. So I'm really excited to read that. Summer of Broken Rules. Want to read it in the summer. <laughs> but it's so pretty, the cover. Like, stop it. Then we have Funny You Should Ask. And when it came out, I was so, so obsessed with the cover. Hopefully I'll pick it up and like, it's always like if somebody inspires me or like they said they love the book, then I'll like mentally put it in my head. Like, oh my God, yeah, I should read that. Next up, we have Darling Venom. And I've heard such amazing things about this book. So I'm super, super excited to read it. 
first of all, I love like, <laughs> I love the chapter pages. I don't know, they get me so excited. And it's short by the chapters, which is a good thing because I love short chapter books. Oh, I just read one of the lines. <laughs> then, ooh, then I have Dating, ooh, sorry Finn. Then we have Dating Dr. Dill. I really do wanna read this book. A lot of people just said they loved it, so I'm really excited to pick this up. I love romance books. We have Culty. Oh, he's blocking it, so we'll take it out. <laughs> we have Culty by Mariana Zapata. Mariana Zapata. I always like get nervous when I say authors' names. I want to make sure, like, I say them correct. Um, heard, so yeah, right. We heard such good things about Culty, so I'm like so excited. I loved from Lukov with Love, and I heard she's like the queen of slow burns. Next up, I have A Million Kisses in Your Lifetime. I did read this book. It was a very cute book. Um, I did enjoy reading it. Ooh, and then on the bottom, I do have Lucy Foley, Paris Apartment. It's hardcover, so all the card hardcovers I kind of like leave at the bottom because they have like a good base. <laughs> They're sturdy. Oh, I have Beautiful Disaster. My mom actually had this book um, in boxes. Then we have, um, Oh, sir, sir. We have Before We Were Strangers. Um, heard great things about this one too. Picked it up, excited to read it. Credence, I, this is the next book I'm picking up. I don't know how to feel about it. What do you feel about it? I haven't read it, but I've heard like, oh my God, you should read it. Oh my God, this was like so creepy. I don't, I don't know, but I'm like, I'm very curious now because there's like so many mixed reviews and then birthday girl heard great things about this one so i'm like super excited to read it we will do this pile i'm like so these are the books like i've taken pictures and i haven't put them back yet <laughs> so we do have heartless i've just heard such great things and the cover is like absolutely beautiful um everything just about it is so like pretty so I love pretty covers. Then we have this duo, Play With Me and Consider Me. I'm like super, super, super duper excited. <laughs> excited to read these two books. Um, heard amazing things about these as well. Pretty much as soon as somebody recommends a book um, and says such amazing things, like I'm a person that's, that just buys it. But that's why when I'm like, oh my God, I've heard such great things. It's literally because like I was swayed by a review or from multiple reviews most recent reel or, or one of my reels books so it was all thrillers so it was like the housemaid and there he kept her a flicker in the dark i just picked up at because it was like a whole table full of a flicker in the dark and i just picked it up and i read the back and i was like oh my god this sounds really interesting so I'm, i was like really excited to read that when i posted it so many people said they enjoyed it so i was like so happy that i bought it the Silent Patient I have actually had for a year now, but as soon as I got into romance book, I kind of have put thriller and mystery to the side, but I do want to pick them up, so. And then on this pile over here, I have Normal People, Accidentally Engaged, People We Meet on Vacation, like, I just like keep hitting myself with these books. Like I'm gonna get a concussion. A summer book as well. Um, so I have like a lot of summer books to read. Then we have the two books in the series, A Court of Thorns. And what are you doing? He's always twitching when I don't give him attention. We have the two books in this series, the first two. Um, and then we have Throttle. Throttled by Lauren Asher and Magnolia Parks. So I'm excited to read all these books because I've heard such great things. Then on this one, like, this is what I mean when I don't put books back. I basically took all the books off this shelf and left this one. Like, oh, most of all you, Mia Sheridan, Archer's Voice, like, loved her writing for Archer's Voice, literally empty shelf. And then all, all the way at the bottom over here, I just have like all my Colleen Hoover books. So we have like the the books that I have read is Reminders of Him, November 9th, It Ends With Us, It Starts With Us, Ugly Love, Confess and Verity. Like I have not read Hopeless, Losing Hope, Regretting You, Maybe Someday, and the rest of her books. Like the other ones that she has out, I have not read those. 
so yeah like those are the books that i have with me actually i do have like a couple books downstairs because when i didn't have these i was just like trying to make room for them in spots in like my closet like i would take up like a shelf in my closet that was supposed to be for clothes to put books and i was like this is just not helping me out so i found these really cute ones and i started so now they're all like spread out all over the place so those are the books that I have in my room, um, a lot of great books to read. If you have good things to say about like books that you've seen in my video, just put it in the comments like, oh my god, totally prioritize this book, like prioritize. I really need to enunciate. If you come across anything, just like put it in the comments. I'm so excited to hear your thoughts. A lot of these books were highly rated because um, it's just like from word of mouth. Um, or from reviews and like people that I trust or I've see I see that people have the same taste as me like I will always trust them and then buy the books if they've truly felt like they loved it if you're new here subscribe um, I'm so excited there's so much more to come it means a lot when you guys comment and like like I I appreciate it so so much you guys have no idea how much it simply just makes my day seeing such nice things that you guys say um, follow my Instagram and my TikTok. I also do have a Goodreads in my Instagram bio. I do have a link of all the things that I'm on social media wise, um, if I'm selling books. So if you're curious, I have all of it there. So thank you again for watching and I hope you guys have an absolutely wonderful day. <laughs>